Hi guys, hope you're all doing well, and today we're going to be talking about Scavengers, the newest battle royale on the block. So this game released in May 1st, 2021, and is currently in early access. I believe Scavengers holds lots of potential. It sets itself apart from mainstream current battle royales like Apex Legends and Warzone by adding things like PvE and survival elements. This game takes place on a frozen wasteland where you and two teammates are trying to collect and extract data points. You are also racing against other squads with the same goal. To reach the top of the leaderboard, you're going to have to constantly scavenge. Ah, uh, see what I did there? All right, sorry. <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. Um, so while scavenging, you'll have to find crafting materials which you can use to create various weapons and gear. You can also find new weapons by looting crates or bodies scattered throughout the map. You have to survive the winter storms by finding fires or crafting thermal boost. You also have a stamina bar that slowly diminishes, which can be replenished by killing wildlife like wolves, bears, or by eating berries. At the end of the game, a dropship appears, which squads will fight over in order to be extracted. This is where the real PvP action comes into play in my opinion. So let's talk about things that I really enjoy about the game, and then we'll dive into the aspects that I don't like so much. So first off, Scavengers is a hero-based game, which I really enjoy. There are currently seven different playable characters, which each have their own abilities and signature weapons. They all play significantly different. I don't have any complaints here. They're all fairly balanced and perform well in various combat niches. So this brings us to the gameplay and movement. I haven't had any issues with shots not registering or anything along those lines, and when you down a target, it's super satisfying. I have no complaints to the AI, the bosses are hard enough, and the regular NPCs fulfill their job. The movement feels good to me, you can vault onto most objects that are at your eye height level, and there's also a slide mechanic which is super super fun. You can use it to get tons of speed and momentum. Overall, the PvP and PvE are very satisfying. The in-game crafting and leveling feels great to me. When you find scrap, you can upgrade your armor or choose to build weapons, grenades, or boosters. So let's talk about the aspects of the game that I don't enjoy so much. So first off, I know it's not a huge deal, but you can't change your aim from left to right shoulder, meaning you can really only effectively shoot from cover when approaching the right side of a building or rock. Maybe they did this for some sort of balancing purpose, I'm not sure, but I'd love to be able to change my camera view from shoulder to shoulder. The next is performance issues. So my PC is nothing special, but it can run games like Escape from Tarkov, For Honor, and Apex Legends with no issues at all. And when me and my friends first load into a game, we experience terrible frame drops. There are also smaller frame drops during certain instances. I've also run into an issue where an NPC glitches into a wall. I believe this will be addressed soon as the devs are constantly working on the game. All right, so the next aspect of the game that needs some tweaking is the researcher. However, I do enjoy the basic concept surrounding researching. Essentially, you can research new weapons that your character can craft in game and also research new perks to equip on your character. However, in my opinion, this can cause some balancing issues. I'd prefer if each character had set perks because then you're able to know what each enemy character has up their sleeve and play against it accordingly. In most character based games, you don't have to guess what perks your enemies have. Again, that's just a personal preference thing. Researching also takes quite a long time. I wish the research happened instantaneously, but again, just personal preference. So with that being said, I'm very hopeful for the future of this game. I believe this game will eventually be one of the most played battle royales if they manage to fix some kinks and keep tweaking the game. It should be near perfect in a few months. So yeah guys, give this game a shot if you enjoy a mixture of PvE and PvP in a competitive setting. This could be your next favorite game, who knows? And it's free, so give it a shot if you have a PC that can run it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you tuning in. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, I guess it was a bit different style, I added a face cam in a few parts, let me know if you guys enjoy that. And as always, have an amazing day. I shit it in my pants, I am for real, never meant to.